position using the ruler and pencil. This is done while the door is closed as we need to account for the lip of the door frame as shown here. If we mount the magnet while the door is open, there is a danger that you may mount the magnet to the very top of the door. Now that we have our screw holes marked correctly, we can begin to drill our holes. Once you have marked off the area, you can begin to mount the plate to the door using the appropriate screws or fitments. Before you do your final tightening of your screws, close the door to double check the fitting of your lock. If everything is ok, go ahead and tighten your screws. Now that we have completed one half of the mechanism, it's time to move on to the EM lock, which should be installed on the door frame. In order for an EM lock to function, it's extremely important that a thorough connection is made between the two magnets, so take extra care when marking off the area for a second device to guarantee correct alignment. To begin, we will close the door so we can see where our metal plate sits in relation to the door frame. Then we will take our second magnet and perfectly line them up using the pencil and ruler, taking care to mark any screw positions along the way. A good tip would be to power on the EM lock and clamp it to the metal plate, then mark off its position on the door frame. As this lock has wiring attached, we also need to account for this by drilling the appropriate holes for the wire to pass through. Once this has been done, go ahead and drill your holes. Now thread your cable through the hole you made and position the lock to ensure the fitment is correct. If everything lines up correctly, go ahead and tighten into place using the provided screws. Once again, it's important to remember that the two magnets should sit flush together to ensure a decent connection can be made for the lock to work. Now that we've completed fitting the EM lock,